Before we start cruising today, I wanted to take a moment to share with you Anna Marie's exciting new project on Skillshare. She's been working hard to put together an easy to follow painting tutorial that even I can paint along with. She explains the materials you need and the techniques you can use to paint a beautiful bird, and it all takes less than an hour. If painting isn't your thing, there are lots of other classes available on Skillshare. Perhaps you are thinking of starting your own YouTube channel. It has everything you need from filming, editing and setting up your channel and then getting your first views. The best thing is you can try Skillshare for free using our referral link in the description below. Please take a moment to check it out and if you do start a trial, don't forget to watch Anna Marie's painting course. It really helps us out and will cost you nothing but your time. Good morning! We had a lovely stop off last night. We've decided to proceed along today and not Even stay... it's still windy. Yes, and not stay at the 40 hour, 48 hour moorings that were just back there because we do actually have an appointment which is off the River Avon and we do have a kinder time frame to get there. So even though it's windy today... Yeah, the wind, wind picks up more in the next few days so we thought it was better to move in the lower high winds than the high high winds because our license runs out in a few days as well. Yes, so we have to go through Bradbury Lock as well as Pershaw Lock. Then there's an Asda at Pershaw, we're unsure whether or not we're going to stop on our way to Tewkesbury. Just as we were about to shut the gate, in snuck a stand-up paddleboarder, or an SUP. It's not advisable to stay on your paddleboard in a lock, so we kind of insisted that this person stand on our stern and hitch a ride on lazy days. Once the boat was ready to exit, we let the paddleboarder exit first. This was a mistake. Later we read the rules for SUPs and we found the recommendation is that boats should exit first. Now we know and thankfully no one got hurt. We love sharing the waterways but there's really no reason to ever take risks, especially around locks. As you approach Cropthorne, you immediately see the Jubilee Bridge. This iron structure was built in 1933 to replace the original. The original bridge was built in 1887 to mark the Golden Jubilee of Queen Victoria. A quick look at a map shows you how important a bridge here was. Before the Jubilee Bridge, the only way to cross the River Avon was via a water gate near Cropthorne something that's not really advisable. A water gate would do just as the name suggests. It separates water. Boats would wait at the high side of the gate and when the gate would be opened, the water would rush downstream, carrying the boat with it. Boats wanting to go upstream would wait to be winched or towed through the gate. To operate this type of lock, you needed a great deal of skill to remove the paddles quickly and also to navigate the boat successfully. These water gates were of use where water was used to power a mill. 
they'd let boats pass by and when they closed, the mill had its own water supply back. Unfortunately, the lock used such a vast amount of water, it would take days for the mill to be able to operate at full capacity again. Also, a water gate is not a bridge by any means. Hence, the substantial development of the Jubilee Bridge. And that is the Jubilee Bridge. The spectacular thing I think also about the Jubilee Bridge is these little lamp posts that this person has in their garden because they remind me of the lamp posts from Narnia. And I can't even think what to say about these, but aren't they amazing? And to think, I've been mowing my lawn incorrectly for so many years. Back to my game, and what do you make of these? I saw little trolls. not making this up this is called Tiddle Whittle Island and Fuzzy Duck over here is has a piddle bottom <laughs> I think they're referred to <laughs> are very proud of their piddle. because you know they had the opportunity to call it Piddle Lock, but decided against it. A lost comedic opportunity, if you ask me. comedy value, Weir Lock also forgets to be rectangular. Instead, it opts for a diamond shape. Yes, I found my diamond shape lock. Thank you so much to the commenters who pointed me in the right direction. Now all I had to do was work out how to get off the boat, and more importantly, how to secure it in this lock. We decided to use lines aft and stern. Kath would control the stern line and I'd keep an eye on the aft along with emptying the lock. Some guidebooks suggest that this lock is quite tricky single-handed and we'd have to agree that the gate is very sticky 
and it seems like the water pressure combined with the wind on the day made it an uncomfortable though novel lock to voyage through. It's thought that this diamond shape reduces erosion on the lock chamber when the sluices are opened. Alongside this lock is a flood marker from 1998, not really that long ago, and it's a reminder that the river always wins. Once out, it's time for Kath to cast the final verdict on the diamond shaped lock. I prefer the rectangle ones. made a decision, no cats on rivers, because the river's new for us, so we don't want to be organizing the cats and steering and doing the locks and everything. When it's a canal, it's a little bit easier if you know you're just kind of chugging along at walking speed, but here, deep water, current, everything like that, no cats on deck. No cats on deck, cat. And it wouldn't be a day out on the river without some small warning signs to get the adrenaline really pumping. I have no idea what they said. Danger, small signs. Keep. And there's Pershaw in the distance with her alluring Asda. That's not the Asda, obviously but the shop is remarkably close to the mooring spots at the park. We've moored up now for lunch at Pershaw. We're having a big discussion as a family, all four of us, as to whether we should continue on, even maybe as far as Tewkesbury today or if we should take the safe option, let the cats out, go to the supermarket and travel on tomorrow. Which one do you think we're gonna pick? Because you're not gonna find out today. Yeah, make sure you're subscribed because you're gonna find out next time whether or not we've stayed put or we have gone on to Tewkesbury. And we'll also find out in the comment section who, was, who guessed correctly. Yeah. Thanks for watching, we'll see you again in the next video. Thanks guys. Bye. Bye. And in the meantime, don't forget to check out Skillshare and Anna Marie's painting course. We'll leave a link for that in the description below.